Back here on Radio Row, Mayweather Pacquiao. We're a day away from the fight, and we find Dan Wetzel, one of the greats from Yahoo Sports and a Detroiter. What's up, man? Stumbling through. Let's go get a Coney dog or something, right? I'm down. I'm down. D. Let's go to the D. They Let's do it. The station, right? Yeah. Okay, what is These, this? Can you guys afford two, two mics? What is this? No, no, just one mic. <laughs> We have a budget. <laughs> what, you like can't a, share a mic? This is like a Greg Popovich interview. What is this? <laughs> Low budget. Jimmy, come on, man. We need two mics out here. This is, uh, we're trying to represent Detroit. You have one mic. If I may, we actually break out the two mics for the bigger guests. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Iverson. Yeah. Iverson. Yeah, we're going to get Iverson you really later. Are do this with Iverson? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't do <laughs> I'm staying to watch the Iverson interview. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's, there's a lot of people obviously jealous of you. I, I mean, you are actually going to be in the fight. Devastatingly good looks. Absolutely. <laughs> You're going to be ringside as well. What does Dan Wetzel do in Vegas the last couple days leading up to this thing? You mean other than work? Nobody cares about work. No work, right. Uh, I went to some dive bars uh, downtown, off downtown. That was about it. Last night I had to work late, and I didn't do anything. Ate at Subway. It was very glamorous. Wow. Had the turkey. You're depressing me. <laughs> hey, you got to mix, you know, you can't, you can't do the full Vegas deal when you work. You guys know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've done, You yeah. can get out, but there is alcohol everywhere, and so maybe tonight. We'll see how it goes. Well, we've partaked a little bit. All right, talk about this fight. Everybody says it's the biggest in the, of the century. I mean, the hype is out of control. Every blackjack table, Mayweather Pacquiao. Every garbage can, Mayweather Pacquiao. Pacquiao's face on the MGM and everywhere else, or I guess that's Mandalay Bay. Is this the biggest fight of the century? Absolutely. Uh, I think the last, the only one that would compare was Mayweather and uh, Canelo Alvarez, uh, 2013. I covered that and it wasn't even, uh, the, the, the entire media tent was in this room. Now it's Radio Row. Radio Row was like four, four or five things in the back. You can look around. I don't know how big this room is, but it's big. Um, yeah, it's no, com no comparison to what's going on with this fight. Everyone's been waiting five years for it. I think it, it, it captures people want to like boxing they want to watch boxing they just don't know when to watch i mean there's a there's a great core group of boxing fans out there i mean mayweather sells a million pay-per-views every time but i think people are excited to get into the event and watch a big fight and, and see what happens you know i i think mayweather's just such an overwhelming favorite here for the sport i worry it's going to be kind of lopsided and he's going to be able to just do whatever he wants i mean i think when you listen to mayweather right now he's not trash talking at all what he's doing is spending his time saying how good May, how good Pacquiao is and how great he is. He's using this time to try to build this up like it's a 50-50 fight. And look, anything can happen in boxing, but it's not a 50-50 fight right now. So when Freddie Roach tells us yesterday they're going to knock Mayweather out in the ninth round, you're not buying it? I, I, if they knock Mayweather out, it'll be, uh, it'll be an awesome scene to watch. It would be stunning. It's like watching Malcolm Butler, you know, pick off the Super Bowl. Yeah, is the Super Bowl going to end on an interception at the goal line? No. Well, it happened. So anything can happen, but I, I doubt it. May Mayweather, Mayweather is 47-0. and 0. He's been knocked down officially once in his career, and it was really a, he, he put his glove down on the ground and caught himself. Uh, he's barely ever been caught. He's barely ever been hit hard. He's one of the greatest defensive fighters ever. He's an incredible athlete. His foot speed's incredible. Um, you go back to that Alvarez fight, that got a lot of hype. And really more, I don't think it went really mainstream, but I actually fell for it in that one. I thought, hey, Canelo Alvarez is a big, strong kid. He's got a chance to really get a hold of Mayweather. Maybe there's something here. He's a young guy. And uh, 45 seconds into the fight, you could see he'll never hit him, and Mayweather's just popping him with jabs. The fight was over so quick. And I think that's, that's what you, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to know pretty early what's going to happen in this fight. One last one for you. If Mayweather wins, and it sounds like he might, what does that do to his legacy? Does that, you know, he said he's better than Ali, obviously. Where does that rank him? And then the same for Pacquiao. If Pacquiao loses and everybody expects him to, what does that do for his legacy? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a historian. We did do our, um, our boxing writer, Kevin Ioli, did this poll of a, you know, really great group of journalists, trainers, that type of stuff. And I think he had uh, Mayweather, like, 15th or something all time or 17th and Pacquiao like 22nd and they think with a victory over Pacquiao maybe he moves into the to 10 or 9 all time 
uh, as a boxer. We'll have to see. Uh, what about the other way, though? If Pacquiao way, somehow yeah, pulls off the upset. Well, he would move up. I mean, it would obviously be the biggest victory of, of Pacquiao. Pacquiao was unbelievable. He had an unbelievable stretch. I just think he's kind of faded. So we'll have to see. But, you know, what? I'll tell you the debate I always want is in terms of the greatest athletes who are from the state of Michigan, not played there, not went to college there, but grew up pure Michigan, where's he rank if this is one of the greatest boxes of all time? I, to my opinion, Magic Johnson would be number one. I haven't really thought the list through. But, you know, how close is Floyd Mayweather to number two or number three or number four? No, you're not talking about guys that actually play there professionally. Not like no. Iserman or, yeah, no. Or Miguel Cabrera. No, you're talking about no. guys Michigan, from the area. From Grand Rapids. Grew up, born and raised in Grand Rapids. Doesn't live there now. But true Michigan athlete, you know, well, I don't know. Chris Webber or Floyd Mayweather? I mean, Chris, Floyd Mayweather would be 48 no if this weekend. I would take Floyd Mayweather, right? Chris Webber's unbelievable, but he's not hes not one of the 10 greatest NBA basketball players. Well, I mean, greatest is more basketball, but I, I don't know. I think, he, I think he might move into that. If, if Would you concede Magic number one? Magic's got to be number gotta one. Got to be number one, right? So if he's number one, then is, is Floyd number two? I think he might be. Something to think about. Good stuff. He never comes to Michigan, so people don't think of him as a Michigan guy anymore, but he did was from there. Well, his dad said yesterday that Michigan should name a street after him. He should show up once in a while. and I maybe they... <laughs> <laughs> How about he has a fight in, in Michigan and brings the money? I think we could do that, right? I watch. Out, yeah, we could sell a Ford Field for a big... Radio Row at Ford Field. At least a uh, Palace or something or Grand, whatever stadium they have in Grand Rapids. They got something out there, don't they? They got a hockey... Got... Van Andel. Yeah, Van. There you go. There you go. All right. Thanks, Dan Watson. Come on, Good stuff. All right. Thank you. I don't know what that was, but...